It's happened to a lot of people behind the wheel, that sinking feeling when you see those flashing lights in your rear view mirror. And this week's What Are My Rights segment, getting pulled over by a police officer. And joining us now is Rosemarie Riddell Bogdan from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. And Rosemarie, good to see you again. It's nice to be here. I think this one's going to have a lot of uh, universal interest for people. When and, and just so that they can know what they're allowed to do uh, when they're in that situation. But we also want to protect the police here. What can they, what can a police officer pull over a vehicle for here? Well, uh, basically, a police officer in New York State can pull over anyone if they have an articulable, reasonable suspicion that there is a violation of the vehicle and traffic law or a crime being committed. And what does those words, articulable, reasonable suspicion, mean? Well, basically, it means that the officer has to, based on observation himself, um, have a suspicion that you are not complying with the rules of the road or um, for example that the car is being used in the commission of a crime for example if there's been a crime committed and they have a description of the vehicle and your vehicle matches that then the officer can pull you over and alright so say you're the one in the car what do you do if you do get pulled over well the first thing that you should be aware of um, when you get pulled over is to conduct yourself in a way that it does not put the police officer ill at ease. So, um, for example, if, you've, if your hands are visible to the police officer, that's an indication that you are not going to pose a problem to the police officer. You should obviously pull your car as far over to the right to get out of traffic and then um, roll down your window so that you can communicate with the officer with regard to the reason that he stopped you. And probably not get out of the car not get out of the car absolutely yeah and what if they want to search the vehicle is that it, do you have any options there well certainly um, we are all protected by the fourth amendment in this country uh, which is basically a protection against unreasonable searches and seizures and generally to search um, law enforcement needs a warrant however there are exceptions to that rule one is if you yourself consent to the search mm -hmm. or if the police officer upon pulling you over then sees contraband in the vehicle or something that indicates there's a commission of a crime then the officer can search the vehicle without your consent and just quickly on uh, how about a DWI case well the officer pulls you over because of that reason I spoke of before that he has to have an articulable reasonable suspicion that you've committed a traffic violation or a crime with regard to the vehicle so that first has to happen but once he's pulled you over he then is looking at you as far as what he sees what he hears and what he smells mm -hmm. to see if there might be alcohol involved if he hears or meaning slurred speech sees um, you're fumbling around for your wallet you can't find it um, smells alcohol then that gives him the ability to go further and then conduct uh, tests on the side of the road to determine if there may be alcohol involved all right fascinating stuff we'll put all this on our website so people can have access to it and we appreciate your being with us today and we want to remind anybody if they have a question for Rosemary or anyone from Martin Harding and Mazzotti we want to hear from you you can email those questions to what are your rights at cbs6albany.com